Hey guys, what's up? So in today's video, I wanted to talk about Call of Duty Vietnam. Not the one that's coming out later this year necessarily, but the original Call of Duty Vietnam game that was cancelled back in 2011. Because the game we are getting at the end of the year is the fruition of this cancelled project. We all know that after Call of Duty Ghost, we had Advanced Warfare, which was Sledgehammer's first main title installment into the Call of Duty franchise. And then we started a three-year cycle with Sledgehammer, Treyarch, and then Infinity War. But that cycle was actually supposed to start all the way back around the time of Black Ops 2. But unfortunately, Infinity Ward had a falling out after Modern Warfare 2 and needed help finishing Modern Warfare 3. So Sledgehammer put their Vietnam shooter, Call of Duty Vietnam, on hold, thinking they may finish the game at a later point. They had campaign, level design, missions, a lot of stuff already in development. The only major issue fans might have noticed would have been that it was in third person, a feature Activision specifically asked for in their Vietnam shooter, of course choosing Sledgehammer after seeing their work in Dead Space. This is, of course, not the first time Activision had requested a developer to create a third-person Call of Duty. Devil's Brigade was a third-person Call of Duty tasked out to underground development, and its release time was meant to be somewhere between COD 4 and 5, but it, of course, was also cancelled. But after Modern Warfare 3, Sledgehammer wanted to continue the project to finish and then release their first Call of Duty brainchild. But the incident that stood in the way in the very beginning came back to haunt them, and once again put their hopes of completing this Vietnam shooter on ice. After the falling out at Infinity Ward, the developers who left created Respawn Entertainment, and Activision got word that they were creating a futuristic shooter which involved boost jumps. It was going to be something new, something very different. And the only major complaint in the Call of Duty community back in those days was that fans wanted to see bigger changes each game. Something, well, different. So Titanfall, of course, would be a drastic game changer as far as first-person shooters go. And considering the fact it was going to be developed by the people who made two of the most successful Call of Duties at the time, Activision knew it was probably going to be a big competition and draw attention away from upcoming Call of Duties. So Activision right away wanted to devise a plan that would compete directly with Respawn Entertainment and task Sledgehammer Games to create Advanced Warfare, instead of finishing their original project. Later on, still wanting to create a historical shooter, and the COD community asking on and off about a World War II shooter, Sledgehammer were on their way to making a World War II shooter. There's also speculation that Activision got wind of Battlefield's World War I shooter, so this was possibly another knee-jerk reaction for the goal of directly competing with yet another developer. At this point, there was an obvious pattern. Activision was no longer guiding Call of Duty to be the trend setter, but instead guiding Call of Duty to follow other trends. They were no longer the franchise that other people looked up to for inspiration for their own games. Now Call of Duty was looking to other games for its own inspiration. But after Call of Duty World War II, Raven was in the talks of getting their shot of making a main title Call of Duty, but lucky for Sledgehammer, the decision was then aimed towards them. Sledgehammer was finally given the go-ahead to revisit, revive, repair, polish, and complete a Vietnam shooter. Their concept started nearly eight years earlier. They were haunted yet again by another split, this time in their own organization. Michael Condry left Sledgehammer, apparently on good terms, but reported 100 plus people went with him. This left Sledgehammer games too small to handle the workload required to complete a main title Call of Duty. Even with some minor help from Raven, considering they were already helping with aspects of Modern Warfare 2019. So Treyarch was pulled from completing their last couple of seasons of content for Black Ops 4, releasing what content they had completed in a way that seemed unfinished to fans, in order to take over Sledgehammer's Call of Duty and convert Sledgehammer's prize creation into a Black Ops reboot, most of the details of which were reported last year. There was apparently a hiatus due to creative differences, which is just code word for Sledgehammer and Treyarch not getting along, or necessarily agreeing on the direction of the game's narrative or production. But knowing how long Sledgehammer had been waiting to complete a project that had been swiped out from under them twice, it was understandable that they would be upset that it was happening to them a third time. There are reports and rumors that uh, Treyarch had scrapped all Sledgehammer had worked on, and Treyarch was starting over. But recent rumor and speculation has come out that they did indeed end up using a lot of assets created by Sledgehammer in the beginning of the game's development. Looking back at this upcoming title's vague beginnings, there is a wiki page with the details concerning Call of Duty Vietnam, stating at the top that its date of release, of course, was cancelled. Showing a quote from Glenn Schofield stating, We were definitely going for some Dead Space moments. It goes on to say, Call of Duty Vietnam, internally titled Fog of War is a cancelled installment of Call of Duty series that was under development by Sledgehammer Games. It was stated to be taking place in the 1960s and 1970s in Cambodia, Vietnam, and Laos. The game was planned to be an action-adventure genre and would have been the first third-person Call of Duty game. After eight months of development, the game had up to 15 minutes of playable game time, at which point Activision offered Sledgehammer the opportunity to help Infinity Ward and the development of Modern Warfare 3. In January 2011, it was confirmed the action-adventure game would be cancelled, or simply put on hold. Glenn Schofield referred to the game as most likely cancelled when interviewed in October 2011. 
Sledgehammer went on to develop Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, confirming the game's cancellation. During an interview with Glenn Schofield in May 2014, he revealed more information on the canceled project and what the studio had been working on. In an interview with Game Informer, Glenn Schofield stated that if the studio was ever asked to make a third-person Call of Duty game again, they would continue development on Call of Duty Vietnam. The reason that last take is interesting is because he mentioned they would continue the project if asked again to make a third-person Call of Duty, which may beg the question, if they really were asked once again to make a third-person Call of Duty, and if that was the reason why they decided to take another shot at a Vietnam shooter, or if their decision was solely based on continuing the story of Call of Duty World War II. And of course, at the top, Schofield mentioned going for a Dead Space vibe, meaning in some of the missions there were going to be uh, moments where they were really eerie, disturbing, and unsettling scenes with possible jump scares. I wonder how much of that will make it into this year's Call of Duty, especially with the filter of Treyarch Studios taking control over the development. The main reason I want to make this video isn't just because the game's history is kind of fascinating and not too many people know about it, but I wanted to get one message across. If when this game comes out you play it and you like it, make sure you throw some thanks and some support and some appreciation Sledgehammer's way. They definitely deserve recognition. Anyways, that's the end of my video. I hope you liked it. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below. Keep the conversation going. And I will catch you guys next time.